Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. This pencast is about evaluating rational exponents or fractional exponents and roots on your calculator. Because as much as we practice doing them in our heads and finding shortcuts for simplifying, sometimes you just want to know, like, what is the cube root of 125? Um, so in this particular pen cast, we're going to be focusing on one that we know. The cube root of 8 is the same thing as 8 to the 1 third, and we know the answer should be 2. So if ever you get to a, a testing situation and you can't remember which buttons to push for this type of problem or any type of problem, use an example that you know, and then try to find which buttons to push in the right sequence to get the answer that you know, and then apply that to whatever problem you're trying to do. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to talk first to people who have graphing calculators, in particular the TIs. Um, depending on what year you have, which model, it might be slightly different. But you may or may not have ever discovered the button that's called math. If on the far left column, it's maybe the third button down. If you push math, there are some super cool things. The first thing you see, by the way, is how to turn a decimal into a fraction. You might want to play around with that. Okay, and if you scroll down, you'll probably see this cube root of something. And then also you'll see the x root of something. If I wanted to do the cube root of 8, um, I would arrow down until I've darkened cube root of x, this thing here, and then I'd hit 8, and then I'd hit enter. That would give me 2. Or if I wanted to try, let's say, um, the fourth root of something, I could do, from my home screen, I could type in 4, and then the math button, go down to that x root uh, parenthesis thing. And then I could do, I don't know, what should we do? Fourth root of 81, maybe? Um, if you do the fourth root of 81, you should get um, 3. Okay, let's pretend you didn't want to do it in exponent form. You wanted to do it in radical form. Wait, other way around, sorry. We just did radical form. Let's say you wanted to do it in exponent form. 8 to the 1 third power can be done in a couple different ways. One thing you want to look for is this little caret button. Um, it's on the far right side and it's above the division sign. So if I wanted to do 8 to the 1 third power, a lot of students will type this in. This is actually not right. 8 arrow up 1 divided by 3. And if they get, and they get the answer 2.66. Huh? That's not right. What happened is your calculator did order of operations. It did the exponent first, then divide by 3. That's not what we wanted. What we wanted was 8 to the 1 third power. So you need to type in there 8 and then the exponent up thing and then 1 divide by 3. And that'll give you the answer too. Depending on what model you have, some of them when you type in 8 and then the arrow up, um, it'll give you like a little box up here and you can type in one third all up there in the exponent and you'd have to use arrow over to get down out of the exponent. But So practice on your own individual calculator finding out how to do the cube root of 8 and 8 to the one third power. Now let's talk about scientific calculator people. Same thing with phone. If you're like some of the turkeys in my class, you might not even have a calculator. You just do it all on your phone. Great. Um, luckily, your phone, if you turn your iPhone or your smartphone sideways, it does have the capability to do these types of problems. Okay, so on your, um, on your phone or on your scientific calculator, find the button that either says x root y or y root x. You might have to push the second function first if it's like in a color. If it's in a color above one of the buttons, you have to push the second function to get to it. And then again, it's different for every calculator. So the calculator I have sitting in front of me, um, I know from just experimenting, I need to push 3, and then the x root y button, and then I need to push 8, and that will give me the answer too. Try that on your calculator. Um, if you get 1.1, 1 1.147, that means that this is not the right method for you. If you were getting 1.147, that means you need to do the 8 first, and then probably, I'm guessing it's y root x on your calculator, and then 3 to get 2. It's super important that you practice on your calculator that you're going to be using on the test so that you can do it correctly. Okay, so that's the radicals. Let's try um, exponent form. So if I wanted to do 8 to the 1 third power on these scientific calculators, I would do 8 and then the y to the x button and then um, parentheses 1 divided by 3. The parentheses are key. If you're doing 8 and then y to the x button, and you're getting um, 2.66, again, it's because you forgot parentheses. Your calculator is doing 8 to the first and then divide by 3. We don't want that. So please make sure you're doing parentheses. Practice on your own calculator because it's important to be able to do these in your head, but it's also important to be able to check your work. Be able to do fraction exponents and square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, any of those roots on your own calculator. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it, work it.
points. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're gonna be doing a lot of work. You're gonna be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two picks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>